Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return for having. When I go to my daily store to buy the things that I need for my life and my situation, I am always making the decision based on cost and the quality of vendors, the quality of the food. My daily visit is usually to some form of a Dollar Tree or Dollar General. The reason for that is because of those reasons. But when I'm standing in line with my money already on the conveyor belt, I am communicating clearly that I am choosing to pay for this food. My choice to put my money down to say I plan to pay is my right as any man would have at any given point of the day. When I am talking and saying this is my choice to pay for this bottle of water, to pay for this food, I am not allowing someone else to decide what they're going to do to me based on their mood. A woman in front of me said, I'm going to pay for his water. I didn't exactly hear her fully because I was basically dealing with the plastic in front of the register and all the different distances that we stand in the time of COVID of the good six feet. But I got the gist that someone was offering that. When the woman at the register looked at me, I said, no, please. I have my own money. Instead of accepting my decision as the purchaser, the consumer of decision, which is my right, that female black employee with dreadlocks that are black and white said to me, she's paying for this, in such a stern way that I was offended. That woman at the register is not my family member. She does not have the right to presume that I don't have the right to say no to financial abuse. Financial abuse is when someone says, I'm going to pay for you without ever asking my permission of whether it's all right. What I know from being financially abused and assaulted in the night is that people often think if they give you money, they can do anything to you. Financial abuse is one of the biggest parts of the abuse system that is often commonly overlooked. I have met women who have really wealthy husbands who are financially abused. They have literally told me in private counseling sessions as a priest, as a pastor, as a minister, that they don't get anything from their husband in terms of money unless they put out. So you can talk to me all day long about what you think that situation was, but what I saw was an employee of a company overstepping her boundaries. Her job is to treat every human being with dignity and regard. Her job is to not make assumptions about whether or not someone wants to help or needs the help. If someone wants to help me, their job is to talk to me on their own and say, hey, would you mind if I paid for that for you? And then I have the right, as any human citizen does, to say yes or no. And if I say no, that means it's done. Because I am not your child. And I have said no for whatever reason that God has asked me to say no. We have the right to use our intuition any way we choose. But we have the right to provide our life's conditions to anyone we choose. My life's conditions have been brought about by liars and thieves of rights. So I'm going to be super sensitive to someone who thinks they have the right to deny me my right to say no.